Hi, yeah, crafters, Amy here, and today I have an easy birthday card with a fun surprise to share with you. So here is a stamp set that I recently acquired from scrapbook.com in a recent haul video, um, and it goes with another stamp set that I actually already had on hand, also from Katherine Pooler. So these came out in the same release. Um, I had gotten this bird one right away. This layered bird one is just too cute. But when I saw this one on clearance at uh, scrapbook, I had to get it. So I actually have a bunch of these little budgies already stamped out um, and fussy cut out. I don't know if there's coordinating dies or might be, but I just fussy cut them out. Um, and I knew I had those on hand. So I saved some time there. I have this little bunch of these already ready to go. So I'm just going to set these aside while I figure out my design but guys this is so clean and simple and I love it so every once in a while I just I love a ton of white space I love keeping it simple but this does have a fun little element to the card so um, I'm going to use the branch there's actually even little layered leaf stamps that fill in the branch but I'm not even going to use it because I really want to keep it that simple so I'm just kind of lining up this plastic part of the packaging just to figure out my layout I'm going to pick one of these cute little birds um, just to set them on the branch, figuring out what color I want to do. Um, and then I'm going to use a sentiment or two from the new stamp set. So I'm able to use these in tandem, kind of as they're intended. And I'm going to grab this new Dress Blues Deep. It's like a, it's kind of in between um, a royal blue and a navy blue. So if you're familiar with the Catherine Pooler lineup, um, it feels like it's in between Juniper Mist and maybe... I don't know, blue suede shoes or something like that. But those were a couple of photos of the finished card. Um, I just did some very simple stamping on the front and on the inside of the card, which I'm going to show you here. I'm working directly on a card base. Um, this is a 110 pound accent opaque. Um, if it is available, I will link it below with the other products. But just opening up this new stamp set, and I'm going to use the A Little Birdie Told Me um, on the front of the card underneath that branch. And I'm going to do it all in that new dress blues color. So I love the corally pink color of that little budgie. And I love it in combination with the blue. So I'm just keeping it extremely simple here. I'm not afraid of the white space. You shouldn't be either. Sometimes it makes for just such a crisp, nice design. So I'm just going to stamp this. I just kind of conditioned the sentiment one with my hands because I haven't used it before. I have my press tool from Tailored Expressions and that stamped beautifully on the front of the card. I'm just going to do it a second time just so it's nice and rich and deep. And then I will also stamp the It's Your Birthday on the inside of the card. So I love it. It has a little birdie told me it's your birthday or you're getting married or you're retiring. I can't remember what the other one is, but it's just a fun little mix um, just to kind of customize to whatever sort of card you need. So again, I'm conditioning the stamp. I'm going to use that same blue, keeping it extremely simple. Press tool, you know the jam here, and that's going to finish my stamping. Now here from Tailored Expressions, I have these little mini action wobbles. Um, I call them wobblers. I think they're probably called wobbles but basically they're a little spring and there's a hard plastic side and kind of a clear plastic side I can never remember which way is supposed to go on the critter so I did the hard plastic side and then I'm removing the backing here and then I will attach that down so that the bird is right on top of the branch so this will give it a fun little unexpected element you can kind of fling it around here, and it's a nice little surprise for the person who receives the card. Now, just to add a little something else, because it is pretty plain, I'm gonna round a couple of the corners with my corner chomper and add a little bit of blingage. So I have some white iridescent sequins here. I'm gonna put down with some liquid glue in odd numbers, three on the top, two on the bottom. But other than that, it's so simple, right? <laughs> and I love it. I absolutely love this design, and I feel like I need to go back and make a couple more of these because I think it is just so cute and I think the little action wobbler part of it is just such an unexpected little fun element to the card. So if you have little critters and it's maybe a little plain, maybe consider putting it on a little action wobbler because I mean who doesn't love that? A springy little bird, happy little bird on a little tree branch. So super easy. Um, came together really quickly, and it's a fun birthday card to have in my stash. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.